Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be unboxing the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra along with the book cover keyboard. Now I had to go through and get the keyboard just because I want to see if I'm able to get into the world of tablets and out of the world of Chromebooks. So that is the biggest test to see just how well this product is if it can get me out of my Chromebook. Now, the tablet that I am trading in for this Tab S8 Ultra is the Galaxy Tab S5e. You know, I didn't have to get anything crazy. I went with the Tab S5e just because I wanted a larger screen. This one's really only used when I'm on the treadmill. So this sits on the treadmill. Anytime I go on it, that's how I watch my content. So uh, I just wanna let you guys know from the beginning, I am not much of a tablet user just because I have the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which is a large screen. It helps me do anything and everything when I do need a larger device, the Chromebook is the way for me to go. This has been with me used every single day. Also the, the Pixel Book Go, I've been using that Chromebook as well. So really Chromebooks are what I love and I just wanna see if, if this can get me out of it. So we're just gonna open this up. I'm gonna give you just my first impression. So let's look at this, the screen size. This is the entire tablet right there. So this is what I was using uh, and now moving over into this big guy. And then let's see how big it is, you know, compared to my Chromebook. So the Chromebook sitting right here, looks like, you know, we're going to get a little bit more screen, a little bit larger of a size. So we're going to see how it feels with the keyboard, you know, how it feels with the weight, things like that. I went with the color of graphite and the internal storage on this one is 128 gig. So inside of this box is going to be the S Pen that comes with it. You will have actually one side that looks right here that is going to be flat. So this way it's able to, you know, magnetize onto the tablet itself. This right here is going to be your charging cable. So this right here should be a type C to type C charging cable um, on the inside, which that is what we have. And then this is going to be basically just your little warranty card along with that SIM card popper. So now there's nothing left inside that box. So let's just open this thing up. Let's see, you know, how it looks. You know, this is a really, really nice sleeve. This could actually be something that you can actually just hold on to if you want to, you know, keep it. If you're traveling, you can give it a little bit of protection. Um, but yeah, this thing this thing is massive. Um, again, you know, let's take a look at this thing versus what we were using. So again, a huge, huge, massive difference. Uh, you know, I'm super excited to test this thing out, especially with the keyboard. So here is the back of the huge slab. So really it just wants you to place it in this black bar area and it has a really nice, you know, magnet inside of there. That's going to keep this thing on there pretty good. So if I was to give it a pretty violent shake. Uh, that thing is still sitting there. It didn't move, didn't rattle, nothing happened. So it did a really good job with its magnet. Uh, so now I also do want to open up the book cover keyboard right here just to see what it looks like. So it looks like it comes in two pieces. So this one right here will be the back and then this is gonna be your keyboard on the bottom. Uh, so this right here will actually just lift back. So if you wanna take that S Pen out, so this kind of keeps it in there so it will not get lost. So let's just say that we kind of lay the tablet right here Let's place this on the back uh, and it, it fits really nicely. So there's a lot of magnets pretty much everywhere with inside of this entire, you know, back panel. This right here will actually have um, a little spot that you're able to lift this up if you want it to stand. So it looks like, you know, whatever angle you kind of push up, it will stay. And then for the S Pen access, you just literally just, you know, bring this flap down a little bit. There's your S Pen, grab it out, and then now you're able to use it. And then here is the bottom portion. So, you know, it feels pretty good. It does have a little bit of feedback with pretty much every single thing that you touch. Now, it feels just like a regular keyboard. So for me, I mean, this thing is uh, spaced out pretty well. The only thing I'm missing over here is gonna be all those numbers. But then again, you're gonna be looking at a tablet that would have to be massive for that to happen. Uh, so here's gonna be your little connectors. I'm gonna see just how well it sits inside. And it just, you heard that it just uh, magnetized shut. So, so far this is looking pretty good. So now I just gotta get used to open this thing up, bringing down the flap just a little bit. There we go. Push this thing back. 
And then now you're basically operating, you know, like a tablet or even a computer or a laptop. So basically what you'll probably be doing is when this thing is sitting in this keyboard right here, it'll probably switch over into Samsung DeX. So this is what it'll look like right here with the book cover in place. So you have your area that'll hold your S Pen inside. Uh, you'd be able to open this thing up. You could probably just flip it back if you want to use it kind of in, you know, tablet form. If you lift this up, the keyboard stays in there pretty good. You'd have to, you'd, you'd physically have to just pull this thing off for it to come off so it doesn't fall off either. So a very good magnet on the very bottom. Now, I wasn't gonna go in depth on this video other than just my first impression. So the biggest thing here, uh, a takeaway, is is this thing, first off, gonna make me more pleased than this tablet? I can already probably tell you yes. Um, but the biggest test, one more time, is gonna be against my Chromebook because this is the thing that I use every single day, multiple times a day, turns on in an instant, and then you know I carry along with whatever I'm doing. So it's gonna be kind of a difference of weight. So how about we just go through and let's just give these things a test anyways, just to see how much they weigh. And I do believe that this one does feel heavier. So I'm sitting there, I'm resetting it as if it should be at zero. So this one is weighing at uh, 49.3 ounce. So 49.3. And this one's sitting at 43 point basically three. So this one is gonna be uh, six ounces heavier than the Chromebook that I normally use. So as we were unboxing everything, we did have that SIM popper inside of there. So this one's gonna be for that micro SD support. So if you want to expand your storage, you are able to, uh, which is also another reason why I only got the 128 gig. Plus I'm not a huge, huge tablet person. So now you kind of know the entire test of this tablet here. So make sure you guys stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. I'll come up with some videos here in the near future you know, giving you my, my thoughts on this, this book cover, uh, letting you know, you know, how well does it work? How well does it not work? Is there anything that I'd like to change about it? You know, where am I at with this tablet itself? Is it an everyday driver? Is it something that I touch on a daily basis, every other day basis? You know, what do I use it for? So again, hit that subscribe button. If you guys appreciate this video, uh, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. This is the little circle you can hit. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.